So moving on to the college basketball picks for the upcoming week. Um, we're going to have picks for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday's games. Um, and the next podcast will release on Friday there. So as for when, as the time of recording this, the only day out of those that we have actual lines posted is for Tuesday's games. So all of the games that are given out on the podcast for Tuesday, those are all official lines. Um, the games given out for Wednesday and Thursday are the Ken Palm look ahead lines. And like I did last week, I'm like, I'm going to do every week. Um, we'll update those lines as the week goes on, get the actual lines out when they're dropping. But as far as Tuesday's games go, the first game we got is Western Kentucky plus five versus Louisville. Western Kentucky comes into this game as the 69th ranked team in the hot tip bet rankings. They're one and two on the season. Louisville, on the other hand, comes into this game 40 in the hot tip bet rankings and 3-0 on the season. And one thing that this Western Kentucky team has done great, you know, their only loss coming to West Virginia in the um, Bad Boy Mowers uh, crossover classic, whatever the name of that was, in that championship game. But they've been shooting the ball extremely well, especially 31% from three-point, 82.5% from the free throw line, which is amazing um, through three games. Louisville, not quite as good, uh, 29.8% from three point and only 75% from the free throw line. Um, but one thing that is definitely good to look at about this Western Kentucky team is how good they are on both sides of the ball. You know, they're 67 or 36th in offensive efficiency, according to Kim Palm and 39th in defensive efficiency. And while the Louisville's team is pretty good on offense, 19th in offensive efficiency, their defense definitely has something to be desired. 110th in defensive efficiency. Um, you know, this Louisville team, um, two other wins, you know, were, blowouts but they didn't really you know or not really blowouts but they they just didn't none of their games were huge they end up only beating seton hall by one they've only covered in one of their three games this year so my pick for this first game on the slate is western kentucky plus five moving on to the next game we got oklahoma state taking on marquette oklahoma state comes into this game as the 83rd ranked team on the hot tip bets rankings um there are two and oh on the season marquette also 2-0 on the season, they come in as the 53rd ranked team in the hot to bet rankings. And one thing that Marquette did extremely well in those first two games was their shooting. Um, they 42.2% from three, while Oklahoma State only 34.7% from three. Um, both not very good from the free throw line. You know, Oklahoma State 64.8%, Marquette 68.8%. So not exactly what you want to see. But one thing this Marquette team has is the experience. 1.58 years experience is what their average experience is. According to Ken Palm, Oklahoma State only 0.96 years of experience. So this Oklahoma State team is young. You know, Kate Cunningham, while he is the number one player or number one recruit in the country this year, um, definitely still young, definitely still learning. I and mean, against this Marquette team, I really think uh, four points, Marquette can easily cover that. You know, Marquette's already had um, two big wins this season. Um, while Oklahoma State, both of their games were pretty close. So... Take a Marquette minus four in this one. Now moving on to a big game that we got on Tuesday. We got Michigan State plus four against Duke. Michigan State comes into this game as the number 10 ranked team in the country according to hot tip bet rankings. Uh, Duke is the 11th ranked team on the hot tip bet rankings. Um, both these teams come into this game undefeated. Michigan State 2-0, Duke 1-0. Um, but this Michigan State team... I'm not sure why there's, I mean, they're not huge <laughs> underdog, only four points, you know, and they're in, um, in Durham. So it's, you know, you have that going for it, but I don't understand exactly. I feel like this should be about a pick them. Um, you know, Michigan state been shooting the ball 38% from three while Duke only 33.3% from three. And one thing that really sticks out to me, while Duke's only played one game, their free throw shooting in that game was horrendous. They shot 40% from the free throw line in the first game, while Michigan State in their first two, 75%. Um, and Michigan State is also dang good on both the offensive and defensive side of the balls. Ninth in offensive efficiency, eighth in defensive efficiency. Um, and with wins over Notre Dame and Eastern Michigan, this uh, Michigan State team um, is just way better than this Duke team. You know, Duke sixth in offensive efficiency, 28th in defensive efficiency. And this Duke team is just a young team. You know, they don't really have the big names. They don't have the Zion this year. So taking Michigan State plus four and a half or plus four um, in this one. Moving on, we got Kentucky versus Kansas this is the last pick for the Tuesday night slate. Um, Kentucky comes into this game one and one um, as the 34th ranked team in the country, according to hot tip bet rankings. And Kansas comes into this game as the fifth ranked team, and they're also one and one um, with their loss coming to Gonzaga. 
Uh, Kansas is a three-point favorite in this game. You know, they've done a good job this far shooting the ball from three, 44.7% from the three-point line, um, while Kentucky not quite as good, 23.1%. Um, and this Kansas team is also doing a good job shooting free throw, 71.2%, while Kentucky only 61.7%. One thing that really sticks out to me is the turnover percentages here. Kansas, 18.9 turnovers percentage, um, while Kentucky, 24.8. You know, turning it over on a quarter of your possessions is not good. Um, for this Kentucky team, um, and they lost to Richmond. You know, I had that predicted in my rankings. Most people didn't see that. You know, I'm guessing that this most people are probably going to be. Actually, I don't really know what's going to happen to this line in this Kansas game. I can see people getting on Kansas because of that, or people going on Kentucky because of that. So I don't really know. You know, this, <laughs> this Kentucky's offensive efficiency is just not good at all. 31st in the country, uh, while Kansas's offensive efficiency 10th in the country. So I'm on Kansas minus three in this game. As much as it hates, uh, <laughs> I absolutely despise Bill Self, but I'm going to be betting on Kansas in this one. So that about wraps it up for Tuesday's picks. 